if I'm the way you let me know. Okay, we're back. Um, I know a few of you thought we weren't going to show up, but uh, we are in fact here. Uh, the good news is that I have uh, a friend here, I have my brother actually, who's going to do some drawing today. So you will find the start time down in the description. I'm going to just do a quick sound check to make sure everything's coming through. So let's see, it seems to be working out alright. Um, I just want to go over here and check over here as well. Good, that's good. If you hear any reverberation or any um, echoing, you let me know and we'll sort that out. You will find the start time for this video down in the description. Uh, YouTube will publish it at some point and then I'll go from there. Okay, alright. So if we could just go back to here for a second. Um, right, I guess we should do introductions and I should introduce my, my guests. So we will do that. Now, normally I would present everything first and then open it up for questions and answers. That's not the format for today. Today's format is that um, we're going to draw a piece of artwork. Well, actually not we, my brother Sam is. And you can talk and chat with us as we go. So that's not going to be a problem whatsoever. So feel free to talk uh, as much as you like. Okay, so we are going to go into this. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. &D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Actually, not, we're not talking about Dungeons and Dragons. We're here to draw the How to D&D &D channel art for my channel, which will hopefully be seen by many people on t-shirts, mugs, on my channel and on my new Patreon page. And I have brought along with me my brother, who's very, very good at this sort of thing. Sam? Hello. Uh, so Sam Wheeler is, um, is my brother and he is going to be doing the artwork for today. And uh, what we thought we would do is we would sort of talk as we draw or as he draws and you get an opportunity to uh, sort of put your input in and give us some feedback. Okay, let's go. So the, I think the, th the first thing that um, I found is I did a poll, Sam. Yeah, and everybody basically said that um, the things that they sort of associated how to D and D with was uh, um, dragons, dice. Not everybody, but most of them. Uh, hats seem to be a focus for my channel as well. How's it going, Matt? <laughs> the bell worked. The bell worked. Hooray! Hooray for the bell. So we know dragons, dice, hats, and then I said, well, how about we combined all three? Um, I also put up Hydra, but um, Hydra was just me just throwing something out there because I thought it would co be cool to yep. stick a, a cool looking Hydra on a piece of artwork uh, that was on a t-shirt or something like that because I'd never seen anything that was that great. Well, we could still do that. Well, we could, but we don't necessarily have to do that today. I mean, this might like, there's a lot of pressure to say that this is going to be the piece of artwork on the merchandise that we're going to do today. That this, is, that is. this is just a concept sketch, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, this is just the concept behind it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So um, I thought something like a a dragon who has is wearing a hat um, with their tail wrapped around a twenty-sided dice that's sort of sitting in front of them. I now, do you have a 20 sided dice I can have a look at? Because I don't even, actually even. I, I, here we go. Yes, I okay, do. He's this, got one here. this is a large 20 sided dice. And I thought right. the, the number that they should have seen on the dice is the 20. Yeah. Um, the dragon I was thinking of is. I was thinking of the, um, the Chinese dragon. You know how they sort of have those sort of like a beard on them? Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, it's called a, a golden dragon. Okay. And Hold that's the sort of dragon. Now I can get you an image, so you don't yeah, freak yeah. out. I know you. Were, I know what you were thinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I haven't seen a golden dragon in the last year or so, so I can't quite remember. No, I have I, to refresh my memory. I, I totally understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the monster manual, so you can see what the golden dragon looks like. Okay. And um, and that sort of gives you sort of an idea. Uh, also, the catchphrase, um, keep rolling those 20s, which I know we had a discussion about this. Yeah. And you don't know what the heck that means. No, I don't. Um, I don't know. But apparently Fred rolls the ones. That, well, it, it <laughs> does happen. Yes, I do roll a lot of ones. Um, but um, thank you, John Paul. I, I'm aware of that. Thank you very much. Um, and he rolls a lot of 20s. I rolled a 20 just then. Uh, yep, yeah, yes, you did. It's called a natural 20, and uh, Jean-Paul last night was rolling really, really well. Uh, far too well. We want to test his <laughs> dice in salt water because we think they're all um, weighted. 
or he's been buffing them to make sure they roll onto the right uh, right number. All right. <laughs> okay. Is that a tutorial for another day? That is okay. a tutorial for another day. We'll be testing John Paul's dice to make That's sure true. he's he's not able to keep critting us constantly, like six times in a row. I think it was. Well, like that. We just proved this is not loaded. They rolled a three just then, so there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get you that dragon. Yep. And I'll let you just sort of quickly sort of get an idea of what the heck a twenty-sided dice might look like if you had to draw it in two-dimensional. Um, space. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> but is his tail? Yes, that's the thing. Is the tail wrapped around the? That's the dice. Yes. Somehow. Yeah. So he's because like he's just about to throw it. No, no, no. He's not going to throw the dice. He's not throwing the dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right, let me see this dragon. Oh, see, no, this no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what this dragon's possible, you know, capable of doing here. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, geez, it's it's throwing. Got, I didn't even thumbs, think of that. Like, uh, no, I, don't, no. I wasn't even thinking of throwing the dice with a tail. Yeah, it's like a worm type dragon, isn't it? Like I a was thinking serpent. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking more like um, a cat. You know how a cat sort of sits down uh, okay. and looks at you, and it has its tail sort of wrap around in front of it, and if okay. you just stuck a dice sort of there, all right. like it's okay. tongue. Yeah. Uh, mm. Let me see this dragon. Okay, on. all right, okay. <laughs> like, you know, I, I want to draw something. I, I, I've got no idea how to start this. Okay. I, mean, I, I can draw a dice, I can draw a hat floating in the air, but I really need the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so <clears throat> yes, that's not the right dragon. That's a drag clutch. So we want a, uh, a golden dragon, something that actually looks golden. No, no, that's blue, green. Oh, I, need to, I should have bought my golden paints. Oh, uh, well, you know, with this, it's, 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 it's not good. It's, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be coloured to. Uh, there we go. Here we go. So this is kind of what a that's a brass dragon. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. a brass dragon. That's not that. That's an ancient that's bronze. A, that's bronze. There's got to be gold. Is there no gold dragons in here? Oh, there it is. Ah, that's it. There, there, oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? Okay, that's pretty funky. It is funky. All right. Um, but it's spiky as well. It is spiky, spiky. as well. Sort of horse-like body. It is what? sort of like a horse-like body, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, okay. It's kind of quite a lean, you know. It, it, it does feel very sort of oriental, the um, the gold dragon. All right. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go I'm gonna leave like, that here, so you can think about see. curves. Yeah. So I'm gonna think about a curve of the neck, a curve of the tail. That's the that's the egg cartons that are moving and making all the noise. I'll just shuffle them around a little bit more. That'll really annoy everybody. Um, so yes, is that a, a reasonable position for me to put it so you can see what's going on? Or do you want me to put it, it is. No, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, All right. So at the moment we've got a couple of loop loops, a couple of Mobius Mobius loops. Mobius loops. What's a Mobius loop? Uh, the, what's the symbol for in, in, infinite? Okay, right. Infinity. Infinity. Mobius loops. Yeah, that eight uh, figure of eight. Okay. Sort of symbol. I didn't even think of that. I had no idea. It's the first time for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, dear Jesus, whew, good. I've uh, you haven't missed it. That's right, dear Jesus, you're right on time. Hello, Joe. How's it going? Good evening, um, Matt. What do you got here? Give your dragon a a a fez hat. What's a fez? A fez hat. I know what a fez hat is. Oh my God. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, let's, I don't know what a fez hat looks I like. I will draw it. Are we you can always it? change it. Right. Okay. Right, a fez hat. A fez hat. I was just thinking about that hat with the um, the bats on it sitting over there, over there on the on the maps. But um, a fez hat. Let's let's try fez hat. And his horns sort of either side. It's got horns. This thing doesn't it? It it does have yes yes it does have horns. horns. Kinda, but it's got we want it kind of comical this one though right? We we want it comical because I I, I feel like my channel is um, not hugely serious, and and certainly. Um, there have been times when uh, my sarcasm, you know, that particular part of me. Yep, um, I'm familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my sarcasm might come out. Um, uh, usually, not in a way. Well, no, uh, sarcasm is sarcasm, right? It's designed to hurt and harm. Um, but yeah, it does happen from time to time. A fez hat. Somebody said Turkish. Well, I'm starting to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. This is fez is kind of Turkish. Turkish hat. Yeah. Turkish hat. The, the bad guys in Austin Powers wear the Fez hats, or uh, the one that um, Will, Will Ferrell played. I don't know about that, man. I'm starting to feel like the top hat's a better idea, just because <laughs> that's what I tend to wear, is like those hats. Well, so what I'm doing is I'll just like, like do yeah. it very lightly in blue, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, you can barely see it in the live stream. Probably looks like I'm drawing nothing. I'm just moving sort of around. Fred can see it better. With, yeah. With his yeah. I can. naked eye. My naked eye. Well, I'm actually wearing glasses as well, so that does help. Otherwise, I might <laughs> struggle. Well, this just looks like blue lines to me. And with my glasses, it looks like really crisp blue lines. Yeah. <laughs> just, wor just working out movement, movement, because I want yeah. a little bit of movement in this thing first. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, I mean, again, this is just an idea. Uh, <laughs> do, do you know what I, I love about this is I'm watching the live stream myself, is it, it actually looks like you're actually just moving the pencil around. I know, I know. And, that, and that you're pretending to draw. I'm pretending to draw. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, in fact, did you guys all show up just to just to watch a video um, with somebody um, pretending to draw a dragon with a hat, uh, um, with a tail wrapped around a twenty-sided dice? Uh, it could all possibly right. be. I go to a dark color, so you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> I, go, I, go, I go to a black. Yeah, so we'll do black now. But now I've got an idea of movement and and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I won't go too astray because I yeah. Don't do that with first life. <laughs> okay, right. so there's some black. Now, some black. now you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I guarantee it with the yeah, black. Yeah, exactly. But that's the whole point. It's like when we when I was animating for Disney, um, we do the blue lines because they didn't photocopy, and um, when we're like photocopying them to acetate, then you don't see the construction lines. You only see those nice hard lines that are like the ones I'm making at the moment. Ah, okay, all right. I don't. So, you would know more about that than I do, so... It's um, just a habit, like, you know, it's leftover from doing that as a job. Okay, all right. Mum doesn't do it, <laughs> but I still do it. <laughs> yeah, well, mum, mum just doesn't worry about anything nowadays, really. She just does whatever she feels like doing. Yeah. Which makes sort of perfect sense what she's allowed to, right? Yeah. <laughs> At that point in your life, you're like, don't tell me I have to do it a particular way, because it ain't going to happen. <laughs> no, no, it's, like I say, it's, it's just good for just, like, when I'm doing cartoony work, it, it makes me get back into that mode kind of Disney mode. So I'm giving a smiley face, which you, you can start to see now. Well, it's a little bit delayed on the live stream. Oh, it's upside down too. I just realized. It's upside down as well, see, yeah. See, I didn't actually turn this thing, the whole thing up, um, up the right way. That's one of the things what I was actually supposed to do. Can, right. can you do that? I can actually. Can you still do that? Well, I'll tell you what. You talk and draw. Yeah. Or I'll talk and draw. No, you, <laughs> you do the drawing. Okay. I'll try to do some talking, but I'm going to focus on turning the screen the right way up so it doesn't look like you're looking at a golden dragon. Upside down. Top so um, Which does top not hat. look like a, dra a golden dragon when it's upside down like that. Well, no, it doesn't. But it also, like, <laughs> is he going to be doing a handstand? Is he going to do it? No, don't. Don't do doing a handstand. No, just not I'm just, now. Maybe this next right drawing. Now, just looks like he's doing a handstand. Okay, so I'm going to go and do some adjustments to OBS while you're doing that. We'll okay. see if the whole thing doesn't crash. If it crashes, you guys know what's going on. Um, Fred messed things up. That's my fault, it's not Sam's. Just remember that. Okay, so we're going to shift it round and see what happens. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I love this. This is, um, this is the sort of thing that you you realize that you go make sure you plan everything properly there see, see there's transform see i can actually rotate it 180 degrees would be correct right 90 degrees yeah. is just stuffed up no 180. Bam. Yeah, yeah that, that'll be a lot less confusing for our viewers oh okay <laughs> well that's good news that means that uh, it'll update itself it's just a little bit late yeah the end result right. is it's not it's not a dragon that is trying to do a handstand wearing a hat which of course would have to be either sewn on stuck on s screwed on <laughs> we were handstanding uh, glued on we'll glued say. on uh, possibly nailed on sounds really painful that's so as a golden screwed. dragon he could have just impaled it one of his top quills <laughs> one through the through the hat right yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, and pale um, <clears throat> sorry that's me um, moving the table I'm shifting around far too much but uh, good news is that the dragon won't be doing a handstand, and um, it won't be upside down. So that it, I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see the little picture there of the dragon as well. Wait. Are you so in the right place? You're, do, you're doing fine, man. Okay. I mean, if you look at the screen and what you're doing, the problem is that it's going to be behind what you're doing. So, so remember, we're we're they're in the past and we're in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, a product of being in New Zealand and also what this live stream, right? So, because just timing. It takes yeah. time for it to go through the little, what are the cables? <laughs> Optic fibers? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. 
a little bit of data delay. Yes, a bit of de- data delay. All right, what do you got here, Joe? Love your um, choice, Gold Dragon. I thought you would, um, Joe. I know a lot of you are aware that I prefer the Gold Dragon because somebody asked me, um, and I, I did mention that not so long ago. There is a Gold Dragon egg I put in my campaign that my ranger is trying to get to hatch. Oh my gosh. What would happen if I did a... What would have happened if I did a video on how to deal with players who want to have a pet dragon, a pet baby dragon of all things? Do you remember that? Do you remember Alice and the Blumen pet baby dragon? Oh, uh, probably. It was yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I remember. Yeah. That pet, vaguely. Yeah. That <laughs> it's pet, a long time ago. Yeah, it is a long time ago. I remember Alice loved that pet baby dragon, but after a while, that pet baby dragon was so powerful in comparison to her, she would leave it behind so that it didn't wind up killing everything before Alice had a chance to actually do something herself. Um, which I thought was quite amusing. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not taking the baby dragon with us. <laughs> it's too OP. It's too OP. <laughs> and this is the player saying it. It's just going to kill everything and I want to have a chance to do something. It's yeah. got a higher initiative than me as well. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it used to go before everybody else half the time. Uh, what's that, Matt? Oh, I know Sam was uh, casting a spell. That's why for why for all the hand movements. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's totally. right. The movement of the hands. That was the casting S- of the pericus. spell. Kapoof. I have to do an empiricus before I start drawing. Otherwise, now, now <laughs> the is... magic pencils don't work. <laughs> where does empiricus come from? Uh, I don't know. I, I say that every time. Like I'm, I'm sure that when I lose things, I've accidentally said disappiricus. So I use empiricus. <laughs> To make things appear when I lose things at home, but it's kind of just a Harry Potter thing, and I'm not a big Harry Potter, Harry Potter fan. I'm just we're just using it as reference. I just use it. I just use it because yeah, I just, I just seem to have this magical ability to lose things that are right in front of me. <laughs> uh, I have to put everything back in exactly the same place. If I don't, I can't find it again. That, that <laughs> means no, no, no. Seriously. That's exactly what has to happen. So what I do is my phone goes back in one place, just behind us. I've got two phones, so they're over there. Okay. okay? Um, if I put them anywhere else, the only other two places I'm allowed to put them are on my bed or beside my bed and on the dining room table. That's it. Anywhere else, and I will never find it again. <laughs> um, and I can't call myself because, of course, I don't have my phone. You know, <laughs> you know what I haven't been drawing? I haven't been drawing the dice in there. No. Uh, which is a real problem. So the so dice needs to go in there first before you start putting the tail around it? Really, it really does. It um, does? Okay. So how do you want to approach this? I don't know. Maybe just throw some water on it for now. Let's see what happens. Let's throw some water on it and see what happens? Yeah. I and do what? that all the time. <laughs> yeah, with the gremlins. <laughs> That's right. You want them to multiply. Um. <laughs> uh, dear. Okay. Well, you know, maybe we have to come back to the dice some other day if it's, or if you can do it now, that's great. But I'm going to go through the chat and see what's going on here. Um, this is going to be awesome, Fred. Ah, uh, Joe, I th- I think you'll find that it'll be because uh, Sam is good at this sort of thing, which is why I wanted him to do it. Also, too, it was it's a um, a blatant attempt on my part to promote his channel, um, and his artwork. Um, so if you haven't figured that out, that's certainly a, another reason for doing it. And he has a channel called Nocturnal, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, is it Nocturnal or Nocturnal 3D? I think it's called Nocturnal. I put okay. it down in the description. I thought it was called Nocturnal Kids. It's a kids uh, No, it's not. No, because it was, yeah. I wish it was called Nocturnal Kids because it would make it a lot less confusing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't get my branding down early enough. Didn't think it through. Changed the direction of the channel. So now I'm stuck with the name. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and I, there's there's not a hope of me convincing you to call it just Dungeons and Dragons Kits. I'd have to. I think I'd have to change. I'd have to create another channel for that. Ah, right. Okay. But considering that there's only 23 members of this current channel, well, uh, well, well like, 28. <laughs> yeah, it's about 28. I think there was 28. Exactly. But what 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 I what I was thinking is, you can just change the name. You can. You just you leave after. I mean, I change the name on my channel. I think I, I, I'm not sure if I can. Oh, okay. I think I've tried. You've tried? They give you a time frame. There's a certain period of time that has passed before you're allowed to change the name of the uh, channel again. Yeah, maybe it's been too soon. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> working through. Oh, I need a drink of water. 
Yeah, yeah, me too. <coughs> do, do you know I, one thing I had about winter? It's like all the phlegm that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> just winds up exactly where I don't need it to be and I do a lot of talk as you know yeah I think we both do well <laughs> exactly um, so it's very difficult to actually communicate when you're going <laughs> and you're choking on your own phlegm <laughs> <laughs> so this is the beginning of our, of our of our dice where it's going to be again well, this is just a concept <laughs> rough concept concept sketch so if I don't get the dice right on this one now, now here we go. Art teacher online. The art teacher online is my mum. Oh, well done, Fred. It's just me, or are, or are you little out of? I am a little. I don't know about a little out of focus. What we had to do is we had to set the uh, webcam at a particular point. And once we did that, I leave it there because otherwise the thing will pop in and out, and it will drive you crazy, me crazy, and it just won't look very good. So. Um, uh, the only reason we we'll just we'll just lie. What? The only reason it looks out of focus <laughs> is because he's blurring the lines. That's why it looks out of focus. It's supposed to be like that. It's your it's your eyes, mum. Yeah, it's, mum. Yeah, it'll be your eyes. Oh, Put your glasses no, no, yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just let the cat out of the bag. That our <laughs> teacher online is actually our mum. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> it's obviously now our greatest cricket cr- critic online. <laughs> like. F Hubbard, what do you got here? Camera appears to be on autofocus and changing back and forth Ooh, on hands versus that's paper. What, that's exactly what we didn't want though. Now, now I, I actually did make sure to, that that wasn't happening. So that's good. Let me check OBS again because that was so much fun last time. Okay. And we actually got a bit of progress. I don't know if I can fix that. He's got the dice. It's a, just a pretty funky looking at the moment though. Yeah, I'm not really, I didn't, didn't get these lines. So if you, uh, uh, so you see, this is, this is it. I, 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 I see the issue. The issue is there's no problem at the hour ends whatsoever. There isn't. No, no, no. Is no. it a data? It's it's it'll it'll be it'll be at somebody else's end. That's what's going on. Yep, exactly. Yep, somebody else is seeing it go popping back and forth because uh, the system is buffering. So, data stream issue. Yeah, it's a data streaming issue. Good to know though. Thank you for the um the update um F Hubber because um I didn't really want that to happen. Both myself and Sam, we actually we spent a bit of time freaking out as we're trying to restart the computer, trying to f- see if we can make sure we get everything set up properly and stop the camera from um, jumping back and forth as well. And I think the microphone, the Yeti microphone, was um, was doing the fingers basically, wasn't it? Yep, yep, we had to do the old IT um, crowd trick, you know, we've oh. tried turning it off and on again. <laughs> it's, uh, I used to be a technician, so you know. Like, it's, it's the best way to do that, everything. Turn yes. it off and on again. Yeah, so that's exactly and what we We only did. had minutes to spare, so you're lucky you got anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you do that you did something that solved things, didn't you? That's right, you, you unplugged the um, microphone as well. Yeah, as it was restarting. As it was restarting. Yep. And that seemed to make a big difference. Oh, yeah. The old uh, USB connections, man, are temperamental. <sighs> it is, it is, it's... It's a good thing you were here. I could have, I could have, uh, I could have been extremely late. Well, hang on, you wouldn't be here anyway, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's that's right. If I hadn't been here, then you wouldn't have been late. I would have been, um, or completely absent. That would have been terrible first um, collaboration, just not turning up at all. <laughs> um, yeah, God, I'm having trouble because of the horse kind of body. The horse body. So I make him kind of sitting on his horse body. Well, and kind of. Mm, can we? Can, can we? Can just give him a cat here. body. Give him a cat body. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm not really that good at that sort of stuff. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Don't worry. Okay. All right. I'll let you be. I'm going to go through the chat while you're busy drawing. Um, what do you got here? F Hubba. Pet dragon is total nightmare. Yes. Well, um, it can be a nightmare. It certainly, um, I found that it's not something I would do again <laughs> for the players. Yes, they uh, well, they have to feed it. Uh, they have to provide uh, it a bed of treasure <laughs> to channel its energy. It has to be in the correct environment. Oh my gosh, you've thought about this very carefully. <laughs> um, F Hubbard, could you do me a favour? Could you uh, put together a complete script on why you should not have a baby pet dragon in your game? And then I will put it online as a, uh, as a video. It seems like you've done all the research. You just need to um, just provide me with um, all, do all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put it online. 
you think I'm kidding, but um, if you did it, I probably would. <laughs> uh, what's that, Joe? I know, I think it will be fun uh, when they find out what it means to have a pet dragon. Wow. I don't think that, that players fully understand the concept of having a pet dragon. And what happens when the pet dragon decides that that cow looks tasty, or that sheep, or that dog, or that cat, or... Uh, that or that kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mm, oh, yes. Governor, I was just in the field. Mm. There's money word picking flowers. <laughs> Another dragon ate me. <laughs> yes, yes. Problems can always occur. Uh, how about what do you got here? And then the pet dragon uh, tarts. What? Tarts practicing? It's breath tarts. Okay, okay, you can't tart it. You mean starts practicing its breath weapon. Exactly. Breath weapon practice is always bad. Lots of houses are going to burn down. That's not a good thing, is it? Uh, yes, yes. Although, it would be very, very interesting and quite amusing if the pet dragon started tarting. How do you, how do you tart? Is that like a dance? I, I, I don't know. Tarting? What? Tarting? <laughs> what? What is like, what's, what's the other is one? that like twerking? Ah, oh, twerking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's not darting. It's twerking. All right. Well, you know, I think they're kind of the same sort of thing, really. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to say that and offend all the, the twerkers out there. <laughs> well, I always thought it looked really weird. It's pretty tarty. It's a tarty dance. <laughs> it's a pretty tarty dance, yeah. Exactly. Let's get the tarty started. <laughs> dad joke. First dad joke. It is, well, there can be many of those. those. <laughs> and we're not even dads. Um, no, <laughs> Jean-Paul... Sam is casting Sleight of Hand. Uh, that dice has to have one. It's, it salutes Fred. It salutes Fred? I don't know about saluting Fred. Why would it? No, no. You're making it much more complicated, Jean-Paul. No, don't. don't, don't it's, oh, yeah, so it's supposed to have one on it? No, don't put a one on it. Put a 20 on it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't fit, on it. doesn't fit the catchphrase. No, no. Keep on rolling them ones. <laughs> I really want a one. I yeah, want a twenty. Yeah. I want a one. <laughs> That'll guarantee that my character dies. I say I fail every single attack. I'm roll. tired of this character. I want to restart <laughs> every single it... five minutes. <laughs> uh, no. F hubba. Um, and there's always Mama Dragon who wants her baby back. Oh, well, that's because here's the thing: you can only have a pet dragon if Mama Dragon died, and. Um, what happens when the baby dragon finds out that the player's characters are responsible for mummy dragon dying? <laughs> that could be really complicated. It's a Fu Manchu dragon. Fu Manchu. I'm all with it. It is a bit Fu Manchu-ish. Fu Ma Especially with these kind of the moustache thing that he has, eh? Mate, like, mate, I, I don't love it though. I, I, you're it, supposed to have another one there, I think. Or there? Like another little tendril that comes off? I'll just, there. if it doesn't look right, just leave it off. Anyway, you know I'm into martial arts, so I'm all fine with that. Fu Manchu away. Yeah, it's very Fu Manchu-ish. Mm, mm. With a little Disney in there. A little You can see it in the smile. He's, he's almost Donald Ducky mm -hmm. um, in, the, in the face, in the nose, kind of. You know, that's almost a, like a, a duck, Donald Beak smile. I should have told, told, told him to make him wink. Wait, hang on. How do you make a sign? How do you make a drawing yeah. wink? No, mm. too hard. His eyes are closed. His eyes are closed. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of is like a uh, a wink, isn't it? But we, I mean, we can again, we can make him do other things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe this isn't the design. Maybe it will be a Hydra. Oh, yeah. No, that was not popular. I, I wasn't. No. Okay. We won't be Hydra because we want to keep I watched, people happy. I will watch the zero <laughs> start to increase and then start to drop down again. <laughs> and there's like, mm, no, they don't associate my channel with a Hydra. Not to, right. not, not to say that a Hydra, a cool looking Hydra would, on a piece of artwork would be, wouldn't be great. I'm sure. No, I'll do it on my channel. <laughs> That's, on my channel. <laughs> That's right. Let you follow that one. <laughs> uh, what have we got here? And now I just got the YouTube notice that the stream started. <laughs> How long have we been going? It's almost half an hour. Half an hour and he's been notified by YouTube that we are streaming. What happens when I live stream for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, which is quite a rare it has been half an hour it's uh, fully been half an yeah, hour yeah 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 so he would have missed like half of it in fact if I'd only done a stream for a really quick one of like 10 minutes which has happened on a rare occasions but 20 minutes and 30 minutes I would have just been finishing as you got that uh, notification yeah that's not good it's not good eh we might have to do another drawing 
Well, like, did, how, did you want to go for an hour? No, no, we'll just go for an hour. Because then I'm, I want to go and watch a movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And I've got other things to do with my time. time. I'm, remember, I'm cleaning up my office. Okay, so we're going, we're going for the full hour. So we'll we've got going, another half for, hour. Yeah, so, we, you know, I don't want to decide, I don't want to overtax you. Yeah, that, yeah. That's well, really important to me. Last night I was, <laughs> last night I was waggling puppets. Of all things. Which puppets were you waggling? Um, for some of these, uh, for a guy's um, web series he's starting, so I had to go and like be a puppeteer for him. Mm. Like, so I was lying on the floor holding rods, operating the, the puppet's hands while somebody else was operating the puppet's head. Uh, yeah, on my back for about two hours. Okay, right. so <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. That, that was a lot of fun, but that's my life. That's that's the sort of <laughs> things that I do. All right. It so, was funny though, because even the even the really healthy young guy that was there was um, who was doing just the head. Like after uh, you know he was he was sore after like half an hour of doing it. Good. It's, so it's if, a the young, if the young suffer as well, it's always good. But yeah, I, well. Well, you feel better about yourself, right? Uh, yeah, I always exactly. Feel better. I always feel better if the younger ones are all sore. So just as sore as you, yeah. Or You're at like, least okay. if, if they're just as sore as me, there's something wrong going on, and they must be, you know. They're a smoker or something like that, but um, <laughs> but yeah, but if they're at least sore, then I feel not quite so bad that I can barely move. I, admittedly, he admitted, uh, you know, at the end that he was sore because he went to the gym last night. So, oh, so, so it wasn't so actually good. the puppets. No, was, no. Oh, For me, it was all puppets. <laughs> 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 For him, it was gym. <laughs> Those puppets must be really heavy, eh? Uh, they are oh, like they the are. size of a toddler. Oh, okay. They have to be big. Yep. You know, to, to, to look kind of normal next to a human because it's uh, it's not just puppets, it's humans and puppets. Two-year-olds are pretty heavy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, this, this, yeah, easily as big as a two-year-old, if not bigger. Right. Fair enough. Well, that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, okay so this is my rough idea. That's your rough dice, idea? The okay. dice is really drawn in there because I forgot to do it, so I had to kind of... Um, we could play with uh, instead of doing something new, I'll just play with colour a little bit then while we're still talking. Yeah, We haven't yep. worked out colours or anything. No, we haven't. But gold... Dragon, so gold. Oh, gold. Okay, so yeah. Okay, we have but we have talked about colors. You don't have we don't have gold, right? Don't so that's gold. I need to bring my gold paints. You can only have gold paints. So I can use um warm tones, yellows and browns. Yellows and browns. You will start with yellows and, and browns. Oranges. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Um, um, oh, so for all of you who aren't aware, um, Sam has a YouTube channel called Nocturnal. It's down in the description if you want to go and check it out. It's mainly for kids, really. It's really a channel set up for them. Yeah. And I believe you've got a lot on there, but it's hopefully going to grow. Yeah, exactly. And, and I've, been, I've been a little bit busy. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit busy. You're juggling like five, five different projects. <clears throat> yeah. And then, of course, Fred says, can you come over and live stream with me? Actually, actually, it's seven projects, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so too many, too many, too many projects. Yeah. What's that, Matt? Uh, remember Dragonlance uh, when the the party was captured and the old grandma dragon was left in charge, and she thought much, and she thought that they they were thought the party was her children. Oh, 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 oh that's trouble. I hope they make movies one day. Well, I think that um, something like, like all of the properties for Dungeons and Dragons are going to turn into movies at some point. But it's going to take the right person, and um, you know we're still waiting on the likes of Critical Role's Vox Machina uh, cartoon. I think that will change people's view of uh, Dungeons and Dragons quite a lot in terms of being a profitable outcome. So yeah. And once they do the movie, um, let us hope that this time they don't wind up producing a Dungeons and Dragons movie, which is um, rather average to incredibly poor. And uh, I think they will. I think they'll get it figured out. They'll, 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 they'll hire Michael Bay, and <laughs> <laughs> and we'll and we'll get another Transformer movie. Oh God! So it's just it'll just be Dungeons and Dragons themed. <laughs> they'll hire Michael Bay, and the dragons will transform into trucks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh no, they're for transforming to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> they, they, they mythologically don't they? The Disney one did. Do you yep. know, a, a black witch or something? Yeah, well, that's Snow exactly white witch. A lot of the dragons have the ability to change form into humanoids, so that makes an awful lot of sense. 
there must be a broken even there. Um, I hope they make movies one day. They're going to make movies. Absolutely. They will. They will. It'll happen. Jean Paul. The Red Dragon was. Metaf. I can't even. I can't even. Can I read that from here? It's my eyes. Something. Jean Paul. I don't know what you're saying there. Awesome campaign. Okay, cool. <laughs> Meta Flare. Meta Flare. Uh, Matt, first read this book. Oh, pardon me, I got gas again. It's a good thing it's not coming out the other end. <laughs> We're in a small room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> confined spaces. Yeah, confined spaces. If if I let go, mate, you're in trouble. <laughs> Normally, in control rooms, that is a big problem. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But only because of some people that I was working with. Uh, Okay, so decided to make it a problem. Oh, it was not impressive. Okay, but because they did it, or because they yeah, they did it, like in our faces off often. Oh, they just right go straight up to you and just like hold hold on to it, hold on to it, come in (laughs) the room, and and you're like, dude, it's not it's not actually like we have to suffer this, like we don't get paid enough for this, you know, to have to smell your farts. (laughs) (sighs) Yeah, I'm not. I don't miss that job. Miss the money. They don't miss the job. <laughs> a lot of that. Oh, uh, yeah. That. No, that really does sound a bit sick. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was, I was, I was, I'm laughing, and I do find it funny, but it is... I, I found it sick, actually. Yeah, it is. It, it, is, it, is, it was disturbing. Pretty, that's the rugby pretty, industry for you. No, that, I'm not a big fan of rugby. Well, that's, well, hang on. The rugby industry in New Zealand um, cannot be slandered in any way, because <laughs> that will be the end of our lives, you remember? Well, anybody saying, finds saying, out saying they'll that, hunt us down saying that rugby people fart is the end of I think everybody farts so yeah. I think we're pretty safe yeah. like, right. and he I, he's not working, he's not part of the rugby industry anymore anyhow so there you go it's all safe Fred right worry. okay all and right. I didn't mention his name okay well that's true that's, that's, no. that's the main thing no. right but anybody who worked in the control room would know who I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> they're not watching your stream right now so I, I think we're pretty safe Fred yeah okay good all it's, right. all, it's all good uh, what's that F Hubba think <laughs> elephant or hippo body not horse um, I'm yeah, okay. not, no, no, I don't think I'm going to think that. I'm, it's, I'm, that's a hard thing to make fly, but I, I guess the bumblebee can fly. So <laughs> it's uh, aerodynamically impossible. Yeah, yeah. Flying out of the body. Is that going to be the? Is that going to be some of the things that people are going to want to buy on a t-shirt or a mug or uh, see on a channel? Oh, I really, I really love this channel because it's got a, it's got a flying hippo. <laughs> um, I mean, done by the elephant, um, sold well. But it did. Then again, like horse bodies, flying horses, that's pretty ridiculous. Isn't, isn't, isn't a hippopotamus the water horse? Isn't that the name for... Yeah, like, it is. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hippopotamus. So, yeah. The water so, horse. Yeah, I suppose. Let's just go with a, a horse. I mean, I feel... That, that would make it more ca- ca- cartoony making it like a hippo, hippo body. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, well, I'm trying to do horse, but you can't really see the... It looks almost, almost like a cat in the background there. You can see the front legs there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the back of the legs. And I know that it's got, like, very cat-like back legs so what you can't see behind the tail is this kind of the, the haunches you know back you know here's the bottom right and the kind of what, what do you call that like the like shin the shin the shin area and like the knee and the heel no shin heel knee yeah knees down here underneath the tail you can't see it, it's completely obscured okay all right okay so i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna i'm just <laughs> It's a difficult the only, the only thing I can make out is the dice, the tail, and the, the top each section. All the rest is confusing as hell. <laughs> it's a bit confusing. Yeah. So we have to clean the, it up. There's wings in there somewhere too, are they? Yeah, th- there's, this is a wing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that might there's be a wing. second wing, kind of, you can see the wing tip back there. It's being hidden, right? Because we don't want it. If more, more wings we see, the more hassle it is. It's hard to compose wings. Yes, I agree. Um, well, I wouldn't know because I'm not drawing it. <laughs> It's hard, uh, to, it's hard to compose this creature full stop yeah, um, yeah. without doing some research. Mm-hmm. But, okay. But First I, drawing. But it's all it's all good because I, remember colors. I gave you my other monster manual that's falling apart. That's right, I've got it. I can do some research. It's page 113. One, and if you look up gold dragons, you're probably going to get a whole lot of different pictures. And I'm pretty sure none of them look like they've got a hippo body. Um, <laughs> and I'm almost completely sure that none of them have like an elephant body either. Because... Although Disney did make um, a, they elephant. did make a very elephantine hippopotamus t- tine, yeah, like dragon. But I, I, don't, I don't want that. What was that? Well, what movie I was want, that? I, I want, I want the, I want the sleek one. I, I want the one that's been working out like Arnold Schwarzenegger and pumping iron. 
<laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to drag in you the want kind toned, of. Yeah, toned. I don't want. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to drag in the locks anything like myself. <laughs> All right. <okay. laughs> that, that I don't need. Uh, what's that art line? Uh, too late. He's already horsed it. Yes, that's right. It's oh, horsed. It's already kind of horsed yeah, this one. That's exactly it. You know, we can play around. Yeah. I uh, came up with those ter- what, what those items about the problems of pet dragons and just the time it uh, took to type it. Really? Well done. Oh my gosh. Now, all you got to do is just um, <laughs> just send me your notes for um, why uh, pet dragons are a bad idea. Uh, to uh, you know, you know where I've got an email address. It's in the about section of my YouTube channel. Um, send it off to me, and um, and I will I will turn it to a video if you really want, because uh, it would be funny, and uh, it would be entertaining, and it would be content that I wouldn't actually have to bother making, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and right now, right now, I know that sounds terrible because I'm a, to be fair, I make a lot of content. I do. I do a lot of videos. I'm absolutely insane, and I used to do that before I was unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for the super chat. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know now we're working down here. Before I lose my voice, I know it's going to happen. Um, uh, broken keyboard on the laptop. Um, ordering a new one. Okay, all right. So he's taking me up on it. He's going to. Nice. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's just going to get his um, laptop. Um, his keyboard, not his laptop, his keyboard sorted out, and uh, he'll type it up, send it off to me. I know he's been itch- itching to um, educate me on um, how to play Dungeons and Dragons for ages. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some of your feedback has been very, very interesting. Others obviously indicate that we are very different in the style of uh, um, gameplay and um, dungeon mastering, uh, which is all cool. It's not, it's not a problem. Uh, Jean-Paul, those mustache things are known as oh, dragon tendrils. Dragon tendrils. They look awesome, Sam. Oh, Jean-Paul. Let's put some color in them. Cause yeah. I think that on, the, on that picture, they've got a little bit more. They do. They're kind of a darker color, aren't they? Just a little bit darker than the, the rest. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be Seems to be the, yes, people are enjoying the, um, the, the they like the look. They like the look. They've got the idea. Uh, lots of people apparently have been discussing raising a dragon over the years nobody has <laughs> actually written up how to do it i guess i have a job yes yes if hubba you do have a job yep absolutely this, um how to raise a dragon is that it how to yeah, raise yeah. a dragon ha- actually how to raise there's a whole f- movie called how to train a dragon but this you, you do it as a script there's a movie in that there's a movie there is what about <laughs> how to birth a dragon how to birth a dragon i don't know about that it's, it's a bit too scary. <laughs> well, you don't want to birth a dragon. It could be painful too. Yeah, and yeah. It's got a lot of spikes. You don't want to surrogate it at least. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of spikes on it too. It hurt heaps. My, um, the thought that pops to mind is the alien creature when it pops out. Oh. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, Birthing a dragon. No, no, no. We don't need that. Oh, spaghetti! Oh no! <laughs> Anybody who's seen Alien knows what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dragon Parenting for Dummies. Jean-Paul, perfect. That's that's the title for it. Dragon Parenting for Dummies. And that has definitely got to be the title of uh, of your um, instructions. Send it to me. I'll turn it into a video. Um, for sure. <laughs> Dear Jesus, wonder what has been the most iconic movie dragon. Uh, I feel like, yes, you're right, from The Hobbit, Jean-Paul... That would probably be the dragon that has stood out for most people. Was that Smog? Smog. Now, is it Smog or Smog or is it Smeg? I think it's Smog. Smog. It? Smog. Smog with the dragon. Do you know what I find amusing? Is depending on where you are in the world, there are people who will argue about how it's pronounced, and then I get this a lot because you know Kiwi, yeah, audience American, modified English. I struggle just remembering how to spell anything because I'm spelling everything in American um, modified language half the time. Um, so yes, yes. and then, <laughs> then of course you get somebody whose you know second language is English, and um, I'm like you know, say it how you like. I couldn't hear this. Okay, what else we got here? Ooh, Matt. Yes, yes, that's right. Matt agrees. Matt agrees with John Paul. Uh, dear Jesus, 80s anim- animated or 20,000, 2000 version? Mm. The 2000 yeah, version or the 80s animated? I feel like 
Now, for those people who remember the 80s animated movie, um, that would probably be the image that would pop into their head plus the new version. But for people who don't know of that particular animated um, Hobbit movie, um, I would say probably they are going to be just thinking about the new movie and nothing else. Uh, what's that Joe? This will make a, a great logo and merch for the channel. I am really hoping that that's the, that's the key, that's the idea. Uh, and, um, and if it works, awesome. There's probably going to be some kickbacks for Sam in some way. Some way. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, it looks like I'm moving paper around and I'm probably pulling it off screen. Uh, well, it's it's not too bad so far. Um, you, if you pull down a little bit, they can see more of the top. There you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I'll push it back again. Never mind. That's right. It's just because you need the space. Because over here, yeah. part of the desk is curved, right? So yeah, yeah. Annoying. It is, but yeah, just just, just ne next time I'll bring a drawing. Board well, you know, you know, I'm pretty sure I can actually fix that for you. We'll try because I fixed other things before. We'll try again. Oh no, it's okay. We, we, we're almost finished. I know like, we are. We're almost finished our stream at least. Well, I'm gonna look, and we've got a bit of a concept happening. We do I'm, some I'm color gonna, schemes happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop over because okay. it gives me something to do. All right, yeah, no worries. I've, uh, obviously, I'm occupied. I've got plenty to, <laughs> plenty to do. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Just drag it down. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Too far down? About right? You happy? Is this no, where you want to work? That's good. That's good? That's good. That's good. All right. So I'll update that. Yep. Bam! Is that because it's 4K or something? That's because um, the Bloomin' uh, webcam does not actually have the same sort of... <sighs> what can I say about um, webcams? Or this particular Bloomin'? webcam? It, it, it doesn't go have the same dimensions as YouTube so you wind up with spaces black lines on the sides ah oh, the ratio is wrong the ratio the ratio wrong. is off yeah and I get you. you can't actually change the ratio with this webcam it can do, oh, okay it can do 4k apparently my, my, my computer can't um, work out how to do 4k it's not powerful enough I don't know well maybe it's OBS can't do 4k well, <coughs> I had a look, and um, OBS can? doesn't seem to go up to um, up to that. No. But I don't think my computer is capable of doing that either. Uh, I mean, it's a gaming. Computer. Oh, yeah, might need to upgrade the card, the, yeah, the yeah. graphics card. Yeah, yeah. So, so when it dies, um, <laughs> yeah, but then again, exactly. what, what what would I do with um, 4K? I'd have to, it'd have to all be. I couldn't do it live because even if you put uh, that high quality stuff up as a live stream, uh, YouTube just turns it into 12. Um, 80 by uh, 720 anyway. Yeah. So it's pointless. Nah. It would have to all be, um, you know, pre-shot, edited, and you know how much I love doing that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. That's, <laughs> that's more my thing, I think. It, it is. I mean, you do it well, um, but it's time-consuming. It is not the fun part. Uh, I like, I like, oh, I shot it, I talked, um, hopefully I said something that was useful, and then once it's all done, um, upload that little sucker and then trim the front and the back and it's all done. And forget about it. And forget Just about spray it. Spray and walk away. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Spray and walk away. <laughs> that's the one I like. That's how I run. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three cats in the house and they do the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they'll, they'll walk away or run away. I think the ducks are gone. Oh, so you had the you had problem with the ducks. Yeah, the ducks on the roof. The neighbour decided... <laughs> Pooping everywhere or something. Yeah, they're, they're pooping all over the. Hi, Nick. How's it going, Nick? Sorry, I haven't um, actually. I've been checking the live chat a little bit, but I, uh, to, be, to be fair, I'm just goofing off because I don't actually have to do anything. Sam's doing the work, so I'm just um, just shooting the breeze. <laughs> I'm doing a similar project. I'm making a RPG of my own and painting the environment right now. Oh, cool. Sounds good. Uh, oh, now is that M05 Viper Gamer? What are you drawing? It is a dragon. It is a dragon with its tail uh, wrapped around a 20-sided dice, wearing a... It's a bowler's hat? Top, it's a top hat. It's a top hat. It's we, a top yeah, hat. yeah. We were going to go for a fez, but... I don't know. Initially, I, I did, it was a fez. It was a fez, but I, I don't know. Fred like doesn't it. know what a fez is. No, well, but... <laughs> Well, he didn't like it. It, it, no. it wasn't right for the branding. It's not. No, it's not. I don't... When have I... Has anybody ever seen me wear a fez? I don't think I would ever consider doing that. <laughs> really? No. I think you probably suit it. 
What, big one? Wearing a fez. Wearing a fez? Yeah. I, I thought, um, I mean, my selection of hats is pretty poor. I, I always felt like the uh, the top hat was not too bad. It seems to be the one that people are reasonably popular. I've got the other one. You've got a multiple top hats here. Yeah, cal- colourful ones. But they're not the long, the, the tall, tall I, top hat. I oh, mate, I've got a tall, tall one as well. It's you just, do? That's yes. awesome. But a bit hard to get in, on the camera, I suppose. Mm, well, it, it can. <laughs> I wind up with most of the hats being in the shop rather than anything else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you wind up, um, I mean, essentially, you're just watching a video or a live stream with just my hat and nothing else. And yeah. Just barely make out the rest of me. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, now, blending in some colours. M05 Viper Gamer. Um, I think I've answered your question. I, he's still confused. Um, hopefully, he's not confused. I'm, I'm, it's, it's kickbacks for Sam. There was uh, no doubt whatsoever. That's right. That's, uh, that's, that's how it works. Um, there's got to be some sort of kickback. Uh, <laughs> Sam might deserve a tiny little kickback. Laugh out loud. <laughs> now, when when we say kickback, I don't mean that I that kick mean? him as he goes leaves the the building. That's not yeah. what we're talking. Didn't get it right. Kick. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's not what we're talking. The drawing about. sucks. Kick. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Um, how about I the? So hard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really. Just just playing around. Yeah. What's that, Matt? How about the? D20 being a huge gem with his tail wrapped around it. A 20 yeah. side dice that's a gem. At the moment it's quite black. That's like, actually very, very cunning, mate. I wouldn't mind making it more crystalline. Crystalline is yeah. actually really I smart. I wouldn't be able to do it with this drawing because I've gone too far. With, like I've overworked it already. Mm-hmm. But again, it's got to be cleaned up, you know, and, and then I can, yeah, I can turn it into like a big crystal and like make it like etched in. Like the numbers are etched into the crystal. Yeah. That's and that suits the dragon's theme a bit more. Should he have, like, a horde? A dragon horde? Be- no, behind I, f- him? Feel, I feel like that's too much. I no, feel like I too just much gold. Just, just, yeah, it's just like, you, you got gold, and you got gold dragon, and you leave there's a dragon. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. No, just, what, this, just the one gem slash, slash dice. So, so when you do something like this, does it, does it go, like, is this it, or do you go no. digital? Go, I know you're, go digital. you're very digital, you know, you're always about making things digital nowadays. Yeah, yeah, definitely go digital. Yeah. I've got to clean up all the lines. This is this is a, a rough, what we call a rough in the animation industry. Okay. Just just a rough. It's a, it's basically nothing, an idea. Yeah, nothing, none of the lines are cleaned up, Nothing. there's no hard colours, I'm just, just working some stuff out, re- really loose, so I can work out comp- compositionally how the, a dragon would sit like this, mm-hmm. how his tail would be wrapped around the dice, which are kind of blue. <laughs> because I can't quite figure it I'm sure it's confusing for the audience as well. I can't quite see how this tail is I, 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 I looping was, around. I just, I just I was just thinking in terms of a cat. And you know how yeah. a cat sits down and their tail sometimes will come in front of it? And I just I wasn't actually thinking so much in terms of the tail is like wrapped around a lot. I yeah. just it just like one look one one wrap, do you know what I mean? Rather yeah. than the whole tail wrapped around yeah exactly so, so I kind of I kind of blew it at the beginning stage when I was you know drafting in with the light blue pencil and I just went with it anyhow but that's okay mm. <laughs> you know that's, that's that's how you work things out and, and the, the dice <laughs> could be bigger too then then you, if it hides more of the body then you don't have to draw as much of it yeah that's true because what we've got here is like his like stomach plate yeah 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 that's yeah. sort of distracting I think so yeah. if we make make the dice like like this big yeah, I think it seems like Matt's idea is um, popular amongst at least two people. So um, yeah. I had a dice gem. I like the idea. I like the idea too. I think and larger too, so that you yeah. don't have to draw so much of the body. Yeah, and it'll make it easier for me to have the tail wrap around it. It's yeah. larger. Yeah. Because that was the, the other thing. I just couldn't quite, quite get the scale. Yeah. It's a dice. I don't want to get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a dice. It's a giant. It's a, it's a giant crystal dice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a giant. It's a giant rock, basically. Yeah. That's. That's, that's, that's carved. He's carved up like a dice. Because how else is this this like golden dragon going to be able to like play his games? You can't roll a normal dice. It's too small. That's exactly right. Needs needs a dice the size of a small cart. <laughs> 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 that way, when he rolls it, it goes straight through the building. Yeah, scale wise, <laughs> like scale wise, they're like a, what a person be like this. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I I agree. I think it's I think. It's, <laughs> how's it going, Fud? No, did I just say F U D D? Fud. Fud. Yeah. It is fud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sick of guessing myself that I don't even know how to say anything now. 
I know. So you know, just because we we've got four minutes to go. Four minutes. To four go. minutes. Four minutes to go. It's down to the wire. I mean, if you need a little bit longer, you can have a little bit longer. But the longer we go, there's more chance I might need to go to the toilet and then I'll disappear. Well, I'm just thinking about is like the color of the dice. Like when we do do the dice. Yeah, well, white color. Yes, actually, that's a good point. White Cause color. Because he, he's a golden dragon. Yeah. Um, he's got wearing a black hat. The dice has got to stand out. So it can, you know can't be like a gold. No, it's got to be. And it's a jewel. So what sort of color? Like, like what? A, does it get the red? A red or maybe is it green? Is it, a emerald. It, it might be better if it's like What's, greener. Yeah, greener. What's a, um, is is mum still on? She'd know the complement. Compl- composition. Colors. Yes, that's right. Col- composition colors. Co- complementary colors. Complementary Com- colors. Well, yes. Where's the color wheel? Who's got a color wheel out? <laughs> oh, here we go. She's she's just pop, piped up. Here we go. Blues and purples. Blues, blues and, and purples. purples. Okay, all right. So, so I was, think, blues I was thinking purples. blues or purples actually. Okay. She says with the green pencils. So <laughs> he's picked up. <laughs> yeah. But I, I was yeah. thinking about it, but <laughs> yeah. I just wasn't picking those pencils up. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got my blue. It's my light blue. Uh, this is more of like a purpley blue. Mm-hmm. And I've now I've got an actual. Here we go. Here's a plate of purple. Right, so my only thought is that the 20s should always have 20 on them due to Fred's motto. That's right, yes. We're gonna, don't worry, the dice that you see will have the 20. We yeah, don't it's got a 20 on it at the moment, but you if, can't if see it. If we put really. a 1 on there, that's just going to depress people, right? Like, keep rolling those 1s. We've talked about that before. That's, nobody wants that. Um, so absolutely. Uh, John Paul, what have you got here? I will give you a point of inspiration if you wear a fez. For our next game session, Fred. No, <laughs> no, not going to happen. Anyway, even if I had inspiration, I'd probably forget I even had it. Have you noticed, um, Jean-Paul, that our bard has forgotten that they actually have bardic inspiration? When was the last time they used bardic inspiration? I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what's that, Joe? Uh, maybe another D20 should be on the table Ooh. next to his tail. I feel like too many things. I feel like one one big dice is good enough. Two is, is yeah. Thank you for the feedback, Joe. I just feel like one. Let's try to keep it not too crazy, not too crazy. Um, uh, what's that, Joe? Uh, maybe the one on the table is a one, but has, but he's about to roll his advantage. Yes, we're getting complicated now. Yeah, it's found. So that's. I mean. Sam knows that I'm quite capable of making his life incredibly complicated when it comes to drawing anything. Uh, but that, that's that's going to another level. Um, <laughs> yeah, we tried to do a children's book once together. Oh, that didn't, didn't work out well, did it? Didn't, didn't no, work out no. very well together. <laughs> <laughs> very strong wills. <clears throat> strong and brothers. Yeah. It's always difficult. Yeah. You combine those. God. And it's only got more difficult as we've aged, too. Yeah, because now we're both grow up show me a little bit that's pretty much it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you have to listen to me I'm older <laughs> so am I dude <laughs> okay. uh, um, F Hubba I have a whole page of raising a dragon already uh, general info uh, for all type uh, no special needs by type yet okay alright special oh, now we get it. remember um, I do long content, but anything over an hour um, is probably going to mean that I will not ever be able to speak again. But I've been speaking for almost an hour now. Oh, yeah. So we're going to wind this down soon, anyhow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't go, you've been doing all the speaking too. I know. Well, because I've been doing stuff all. Well, no, you've been doing all the hard work. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not hard, but yeah. Well, <clears throat> so did you enjoy this, Sam? Did you, did you like it? Jumping on. I did. I did enjoy it. I hope everybody else enjoyed it. I, I've, I've had fun drawing this dragon. So I can there, see that sort of dice happening now. So there's, there's, there's the point. There's like 18 people watching right now. So for you to come back, we really need people to start hitting the thumbs up button and leaving good feedback in the comments section, like good feedback, then he might come back. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just up the road. That's the other thing. We live very close together. Mm-hmm. Yep. And between the two of us, we actually managed to figure out how to get the microphone and the camera working properly. Yeah. And, and the right way up. <laughs> and the colours of the gold dragon and the size. We've worked out a lot today, actually. Yes, we this did. one drawing. That one drawing, it's been it's been awesome, actually. Um, I have done, well, I've done research, but haven't written anything down yet. Ah, so Joe's now interested. You know, if Hubba, you know what's going to happen. 
Um, all you got to do is put this together, put it on uh, the Dungeon Master's Guild. Oh, hang on, give me a second. We've got, we're well, just going to get a bit busy in uh, in my house, so. Good timing. Close the too. door, close the door. Yes, we've got to start wrapping things up. But yeah, make sure you give the thumbs up so that Sam comes back and make sure to leave a nice, um, pleasant um, comment on his artwork and uh, this video that uh, you've been sitting, it's a long video, it's like an hour, but that's what happens when you're watching drawing stuff that's live. I'm, gonna, it, that's, that's, I'm that's really overworking this too. Well, we probably could have finished this half an hour ago. Wow, well, yeah, well we can stop. We can. <laughs> we, we don't need to keep going but no. make sure you go and check out Sam's uh, channel um, Nocturnal and uh, you've got some children's books too right? I do I like bought one of them in but one I don't only have a copy of one of them ah uh, yes so I only bought in 10 chickens 10 chickens Chick um, I'll ten just chickens. put it briefly here on the picture so you can um, see the picture yeah. 10 chickens and the other one what's the other one called Mischief's Missing Monsters so yeah basically about trying to find monsters it is okay well, that sounds fun. Finding his monsters. Yeah, his, his friends are monsters. <laughs> Anyhow. So, so basically, what, uh, DG Enemy, I'm going to go through this chat real fast because we're going to get going to get things wrapping up here. Um, purple is complementary to yellow. Yes, we've got that. That's been established. Put some blues in your sh um, sh shadow. So that's... Uh, yep. 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 Okay. I was doing that. That's, that's cool. definitely okay. a good, good idea. I was definitely trying to bring out a little bit of blue and... Jean-Paul said, I agree with mum. <laughs> a blue background and shadows would complement the uh, gold dragon. I listen to mum. Yes, we will listen to mum. Well, that's the other thing. Like, do we, like, create something that he, you know, do we have a blue background? Like, in a, in a well, purple jewel? Well, I don't, I, no, I, I, I was not thinking about a blue background because I want to just stick this onto a black T-shirt. Because yeah. I feel like a black T-shirt rather than a white T-shirt, right? Yeah, okay. That's the thing that would sort of make it pop. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Exactly. Especially if you have a transparent background, you can get the nice shape rather than just like a flat square or something boring like that. Yeah. Yep. And okay. And what's all here? What's that? Okay. All of the simple ideas for raising a, a dragon are written. Take a week or so to flesh it out. Oh, th there's no rush. There's no rush. I'm I'm not in a rush. You're doing great, by the way. Um, I should do this for a lot of my videos. So just get somebody else to write all the stuff, and I just put it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was I thinking? Didn't you actually mention something like that to me? Like there are people who just get other people to make stuff and they put their videos and ideas up um, and somebody just puts it on their channel? I think so. Yeah, I think I think you did mention that a long, long time ago. Um, nice work, boys. Okay, thank you very much. Um, it, it's mostly Sam rather than me. A blue T-shirt. Oh, I suppose it could be on a blue T-shirt. Could know. be. Mm. Well, they can have the option. Yeah. Yeah, this, of course we can get the If I give a nice bl black hard line there, then it'll look fine even on a black shirt or a blue shirt or a red shirt or a yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. or they, can, they can put whatever colour. All and right. I'm helping him find the, the right printers as well. Oh. I That's did, right, eh? I did find... What, did you already find some? I did actually find something. Um, it's called uh, Teespring. So... We... We're gonna we're gonna finish it up there. Um, Teespring, I think that's the the trick. So look, um, hey, thank you, Sam, for coming and doing this. This has been really fun, actually. It has been. I've I've enjoyed myself. I'll definitely come back again if if they want me to come back. If they yep. So you're gonna do the um, thumbs up, um, and uh, let us know. Thumbs down always mean he's probably not ever gonna come back. Um, <laughs> uh, leave some good feedback. That's always good too. And um, look, uh, I have like. Hundreds of videos, not about drawing, but um, on four players and dungeon masters on Dungeons and Dragons. Make sure to go and check those out. Um, also, to go and check out Sam's uh, YouTube channel, uh, Nocturnal, and uh, just see what what you think. Just kids content, but you know, it'll, you'll keep making more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I don't do Patreon, but that's coming. This is why we're doing this. this is certainly part of the old concept behind that. Um, I have affiliate links down in, in the description. You can go and check out if you need to uh, for Amazon and Book Depository. Uh, make sure to do the normal thing. So um, like uh, share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I uh, publish new videos. And if you're really, really lucky, which you probably won't be, um, YouTube will notify you after the live stream. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. Bye. Oh, do I?
Stop it. 